Now if we wanted to dimension all walls automatically in this project, first of all I'm going to pick the wall tool and go Command A or Control A on Windows. That way we will select all of our walls at the same time. That's assuming that you want to dimension all the walls, but we will at the moment. Once this is done, I have to go to the menu, Document, Document Extras, Automatic Dimensioning and the Exterior Dimensions. Then a dialog box pops up. The first setting is the window and door dimensions. Now it's referring to the object center or the object endpoints, so the actual openings or the center. So that's probably the setting that we would like to use. Then you have the choice of setting the dimensions to openings, structures, external geometry, and then adding the overall dimension, which is fine. The distance between dimension lines, I've got it set at 350 at the moment and I will say place the dimensions on all four sides. Then I'm just going to accept that and push OK. And then the next thing we have to do is define an alignment for those dimensions, whether we want them to be horizontal or vertical or at any specific angle. If I wanted my dimensions to be horizontal and vertical on the floor plan, all I have to do is point to any wall which will define the direction of the dimensions. In this case, I'm just going to point to a horizontal wall. I could also point to a vertical wall, but that's irrelevant at this point. As long as we see the Mercedes cursor, and I click once, and then move my mouse, and then I have the hammer tool, which will define where the first innermost dimension position go here. And that information is actually shown down here. So I'm just going to pick a point somewhere around here, and click once and then the entire building is dimensioned. Automatic dimensioning is actually quite handy because in most of the cases it will place more dimensions than is actually required. So then it's just a matter of going around and cleaning up and deleting some of the dimensions that may be redundant for example. But it's still faster than doing it all manually. Now I'll get back to our wall here at 45 degrees and we're just going to have a look at the fact that these dimensions here obviously read the dimension of this wall as projected onto a horizontal line and they're probably not that important so by selecting the actual intersection point between the witness line and the dimension string if I click on that we can actually delete the node and what I'm going to find here what I'm starting to have here is redundant information I've got the 4243 dimension three times, which obviously can lead to confusion. So if I wanted to get rid of just, if I wanted to get rid of the repetition here, if I click anywhere on a dimension line and I hit delete, I'll be deleting the entire string, which is not what we want. If I pick a point, then I'm merging to the adjacent dimension. If I just wanted to get rid of this one section, leaving the adjacent dimensions untouched, you actually have to find the midpoint of a dimension, which will be somewhere there. A tick will come up, and you can see that once the halfway point is selected, it will select the adjacent markers. Then only this dimension is selected, and we push delete, and then only that one will be deleted. So I'm also going to delete this one. And now the dimensioning's getting a little bit safer. Automatic dimensioning can also be applied to just a single wall or just a few walls. And I'll just dimension this wall here automatically. So I'm going to pick the external wall and that one internal wall. Go to Document, Document Extras, Automatic Dimensioning, Exterior Dimensions and this time I'm going to say do not place dimensions on all four sides I just want one string of dimensions I'm going to push OK and I need to line it up with this wall which is at 45 degrees so I'm just going to point to the edge of this wall wait for the Mercedes cursor and move my mouse out with the hammer icon and then I'm just going to place this right here and we have automatically dimensioned all the walls at an angle and place them along that plane. 
In this particular case, I'd probably want to have a look at what's happening here at the corner because that dimension 83 is actually a dimension this point here and the other corner of the wall. So it's completely irrelevant. So I'm going to pick the point that I don't want and delete it. With the last dimension here, the overall dimension is obviously incorrect as well. So it's pointing to the point inside the wall. So I'm just going to use the Mercedes cursor and use the pet palette to select this node here and then deselect it and then reselect the last node and delete it. And once again we've ended up with a couple of redundant dimensions so I'm just going to delete this last one anyway. The same thing also applies to the interior of the building. You could be placing the dimension at any alignment that you wanted using the compass. And I'm just going to place a section of an old movie for the interior dimensions because the methodology in that is the same as the last version. So I'm going to place that at the end of this movie. To make use of the automatic internal dimensioning tool, we do the same thing initially. We select the items that we want dimensioned and then under document we go to document extras and automatic dimensioning and interior dimensioning. When I select that this palette comes up and we can once again dimension object center or object endpoints. This is my preference and we can also dimension every composite of the walls that we pass through and if I push OK then I just click once and drag through the model or the area that I want dimensioned and I left mouse click again double click on the same point and the next click actually places the dimension string where I click next so even if I want it out here I can click out here and and that is actually representing the dimensions through the internals of this building. So I can actually grab that and go Apple or Control D, put it back there if I want to, and that's exactly what we dimensioned. So that's the internal automatic dimensioning tool. And that also works in any direction. So I'll just do it quickly. Document, document extras, interior dimensioning. Okay, and I'm just going to drag through this way and put that out there.